so yeah um i was i was i was going that i was going to a place where i was like like you know how it's almost impossible for like these types of discoveries to ever actually change things because like we're too set up yeah right like the 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 place that the world is in at the moment at the very society's least. going okay i guess well it's it's not it's not that's not what i was going to say uh, i was okay. going to say that it's it's like it's locked in right in such a way where like if empires were built on incorrect ideas yeah then those empires are not interested in like correct ideas well, i mean every single empire that currently exists is built off some dumb bullshit from like way back so um well Almost not not not, not every. Uh, I'd say the Kardashian Empire is not built off of some old bullshit from way back. Okay, it's built off some dumb bullshit from right now. Yes. However, uh, I, the the idea that like it's like if there suddenly was complete just like clarity on certain topics, it's like would everyone suddenly just swerve and change their minds on things, or would it? It's like of course not. Right, it's just way too locked in, and habits are too much. Our habits, but you know, you know what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Memes. Well, you're talking about real memes. <laughs> real memes, yes. Yeah. Yes, actual, actual memes by the by the old definition of the term. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and I, like, like you know how you can you fantasize about like you know you have like 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 oh what if I had superpowers? You know how cool it would be if I could fly? Yeah. How cool would it be if I could stop time? Yeah. Or read minds and all that stuff. Yeah, what if you could just wave your hand and make somebody not stupid? No, that's not even that. Oh, because darn. I had that. That's I had, too strong. So I had that strong when uh, the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie came out mm-hmm. because of the point of view gun. Yeah. Right? The point of view gun, like, remains one of my favorite <laughs> fictional inventions of all time. Yeah. Because it's, it's just, it's so satisfying. Where it's just like you hit someone with this gun, and if you're holding it, they see things from your point of view. Yeah, right. And you shoot them, and they go, "Oh God, fuck! I'm sorry." Right? Amazing, to- amazing invention. Right? Yeah. Um, but no, like I was saying that like one of the things that's equally up there with all those like uh, fucking stand power slash superhero power mm-hmm. things that we we imagine is like one for me would be the ability to open a portal to the past that's not actually something you go through yeah it's just a floating camera just a window that shows you something yeah and like how fucking cool would it be to just be like okay this thing here's what actually happened well yeah being able to see what actually occurred in history would be very useful it'd be insanely useful right and then it would and it'd be so cool because it would just like you'd be it'd be so satisfying if you were able to uh have like this entire fucking planet, like see something and then make a super informed decision based on that and go like, oh shit, what I believe isn't real or here's, what I thought what I was, what was it? So here's the problem with your idea, Wooly. Sure. Your the problem with your idea is that you think that if you show somebody, no, I don't. Pro- okay. No, I don't. Uh, that's that's. I made sure to specify that's not what I think. Ugh. I don't think at all. That people are going to suddenly see the error of their ways and then change their mind. Like, no. Yeah. Some people will. Yeah. Right? A whole lot of people will not handle it well at all. Yeah. Some people will lash out. Some people will disconnect. Yeah. Some people will um, find whatever possible reasons they could to completely mm-hmm. not accept what the reality of things are. Right? But... But the truth would be out. Yeah. <laughs> right? And what you do with it is up to you. Right, that's the thing I have is it, it, it's 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 the same reason why like my the sati- the satisfying point for me in any sort of debate is the point at which someone says, okay, I know that this is on me, yeah, but I'm gonna stay here anyway. I'm like, then on peace be with you, right? On your way, have a good day. Let me know if you need anything. Uh huh. Because that's like, well, we're all... You know what I need? I need you to take that poison vaccine out of my kid. Yeah. Yeah. Because once we're all on the level, right? Once You will never get anyone on the level. No. No. But I like that idea so much, right? Because I think that, like, as someone who was raised in a fucking 
like shroud of lies. Jesus is the one. As someone who was raised <laughs> surrounded by lies, and yeah. and as someone who knows how powerful it is to, uh, like, suppress your better instincts. Yeah. In order to follow, um, like, fleeting emotions. Yeah. Right. That that like make you be like, ah, don't question that too hard, right? Just shut that down. There's something about um, being forced to acknowledge uncomfortable truths. Yeah. That, like, I think makes everybody, like, you whether you reject it or not. Yeah. It, it like, you're going to level up in one direction or another. <laughs> it reminds me, right? Mom, mom and my, my mom and my whole family on my mom's side was always trying to get me into the Jesus. Yeah. And, you know, what about, you know, your reformation or whatever the fuck? <laughs> And it never took because I was such an asshole. And every time it, it escalated to argument, my dad would be like, "Yeah, that shit's stupid. You don't gotta go." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then the onus would come off the argument between like me and the mom, and it would that that argument would like hinge switch over yeah. to argument between the parents, and it never went anywhere because my dad would just go, "Yeah, it's fucking stupid." I don't, yeah, I don't care. If you're one, if you're <laughs> one real demonstration away from, uh, just like fucking snapping and doing, uh, uh and completely pretending something didn't happen. Yeah. Right. If you're, if you are able to walk through your life and just sing, turn it off. Like a light switch, yeah. shut it down, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Then, at, then again, like there is, there's something honest about that that is like a better version than you being in a place where you're pretending uh, uh, that it's real. Yeah, I get that. I love that. I love that idea so much. I would that would be equally as satisfying as flying, stopping time, or reading minds. Well, being able to see the past conclusively conclusively would be right. that would be personally satisfying very much so certainly but also uh it would help those who weren't like living clouded let's say yeah to like focus on and narrow down things that could help i'm gonna point out that it is a small possibility that this particular power may destroy modern society in because there may be what, what what's wrong with the idea of perfect surveillance of every there may, there point may, in time there may space. be truths that are too real for us to handle but that's exactly what i want like too real for us to handle but then handle them because they're real like what if what if you go back in time and like you do you see the king of england and he's talking to a uh, alien bro and, and you're like america was a mistake cuz the aliens bro they're, they're 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 protecting child pedophiles and like high profile billionaires with like the aliens no no epstein shit like there's a, like i'm saying there's horrible truths Slash horrible ideas out there. The king of England? No. Who is they? <laughs> Who is they? Okay. The I this this whole this whole weird thing about like <laughs> this whole weird thing about the amount of people that are like super duper rich and influential okay. and associated with uh uh this dude that had an island where like little girls were abused. Yeah, sure. Right? That's all very evil. Exactly. And it's one of those ideas where I'm like if that is <laughs> if that's just all crazy conspiracy okay. then so be it right? right but if it isn't in a weird way like what could possibly be more fucked than that as a society you could you could see things that are are t you could see villains being cast in a really positive light and that's horrible you could see that I'm trying people... to here, sorry I I I, I the, I'm let me explain the link in the jump okay. for you for a second all right what I'm trying to say is this if the secrets of the people that can keep secrets above our society yeah. right are that they're like see, they're trying to suppress 
like rampant crazy child abuse. Yeah. Who gives a fuck about no, aliens? No, but I, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what if you go back in time and find out that the Neanderthals were actually about as advanced as we are now, and that we, who was, what, Australopithecus or whatever, we horribly ate them as if we were like a horrible zombie monkey plague, and we ate them and we killed them. Cool! That's horrible. I don't want to know that. No, I do, because... I don't want to know that. No, but how can knowing that possibly hurt us in terms of where we go from here? Because then we have to go out of guilt. Do we? Yes. I wrote a story about that. <laughs> I wrote I, uh, my uh, my mecha tale, my mecha, my mecha manga. Yeah, that it was kind of like that. Was about yeah, that. It was kind of like that. But uh, that and it's an interesting proposition where it's just like if you build a society on completely wrong ideas. What if you go back in time? What is and, your moral and impetus? find out that we used to be extra attractive and and like and had like five limbs and were super brainiacs. And we've de-evolved over time, and there's no future for us other than getting dumber. I mean, Cro-Magnons were the dumber, more violent of the two. The winner of that of that argument was the dumber one. Yeah. yeah. The Neanderthals were, like, straight up had bigger brains. We, we, we... And were physically more intimidating, larger, and stronger. History has proven that Chad beat the virgin the Chad neanderthal. neanderthal was beaten by the virgin no 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 the, no 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 the virgin neanderthal was okay. beaten by the chad cromagnon but the but the neanderthal was literally better in every way other than the fact that their larger bodies but needed more food to sustain themselves not 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 they're not better when they're dead okay you know what <laughs> you know what can i can i there's a lot of stupid shit that i get fucking called out for in out of context quote can I get a fucking picture of Wooly's face next to the phrase, they're not better when they're dead, please? Because that's that's about the worst thing I think has ever been said on this podcast. Just, <laughs> just don't be dead. What do you, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. I Just eat them. I couldn't disagree and any back harder. To cannibalism. I think, I think full on <laughs> truth uh, helps us like choose you where know you are right now mm -hmm. you're the protagonist in a lovecraft story am i yeah oh, okay you will die at the end due to this point of view because i think the arrow <laughs> we get to we get to correct where we go from here the more you find out about yourself the more you can correct where you go next right and if you were planning to shoot way off to the left because you thought we were coming from the right and it turns out that you were on the opposite end of that then you can go, whoa, shit. Hey, listen, let's... man, sometimes the little white lies are good for you. Whatever we were, whatever we came from, whatever we are, yeah. we are better dealing with that and moving past it than we are pretending it didn't happen. I don't know. It depends if it's really bad. Eyes on the inside. See, it depends if it's really bad. To me... There is no truth. Like, okay. What if what if it what if the truth was like pick the most horrible thing you can. Okay, Wooly. You go back in time and view your conception, but your conception is not the romantic act of your parents. It is in fact in Argentina and you are a cross pollinated clone of Hitler. And then they lost you. They you fell in a well. And, okay. And, first of all, I'd still away. rather watch that than actually seeing my parents. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because so, it's just tubes and, and and beakers. So let's not mince words here. Okay. You still picked the lesser of two evils. All right. But regardless. Okay. So the lesser of two evils is you being a Hitler clone rather than you looking at your parents doing it. Okay. So here's the thing, though. Right. That makes that's fucked up to find out about myself. Also, what Hitler was a black guy. No, no, you're cross-pollinated. Cross-pollinated. With somebody from Argentina. Okay. So within me somewhere is... A tiny mustache. Okay. It's in there. Got it. Okay. okay. Well, here's the thing, right? Now that we know that, now we know that, like, that technology is available. Now we know that, that somebody did that for some reason, and that was secret up until now. And that that idea being out there... Yeah, but now you gotta live the rest of your life as, like, a Hitler Jr. Yeah, I don't... Well, I'm talking... Forget me. No, but I'm talking uh, to you about you. But I'm talking about in the long run for humanity. I think whatever we can find out about the past will make humanity so much better if we can be real about it instead of live fucking shrouded in lies. 
And if personally my shit, my, my, my history ends up being super uncomfortable or lame, I'm like, okay, what bearing does that have over... Am I still wooly? No. Because, okay, I'm half Hitler, right? Yeah, well, here we go, clip it. Sure. I'm, I'm, right? I may, I went so far out Raised of my way to not call you Hitler. Raised in a lab, <laughs> right? Cross-pollinated? Sure. Bunch of scientists made this happen. Cool. If I'm what I am now, right? <laughs> This is not fucking a uh, 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 monster. Well, what if you look in and you see that they this have... This isn't Batman Begins. What if you see that they have the activator switch and you accidentally hear the code phrase? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, hold on a minute. Now that's... Okay. Now, now that's not good, right? I and don't like you, that. And then you return of the Joker like body morph. Yeah, that wouldn't be great. That would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> um, but... Like, in terms of the, it's, but here's, you know what it is though, right? Like, so you can write any story where the challenge of the protagonist <laughs> yeah. is to f choose between ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Right? The, in, the Matrix in yeah. its entirety, right? Everything about ignorance is bliss yeah. as a potential um, better ending, so to speak. Yeah. Um, what was the one? Old boy. Yep. Right? Yeah. Um... You know that, like, the right quote-unquote answer is always going to be, fuck that, except the truth. I don't know, old boy's kind of messed up. Old boy's pretty good. <laughs> old boy's kind of a really good counter-argument to what you're saying right now. But I think that, like, you're, ta you're also talking about personal tragedies. Yeah. I'm talking about human level. Yeah, but, Wooly, Species we're all level. humans. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying there's nothing that could be so bad on a on a species level that it wouldn't be better for us okay. to know in the end. How about this? You go and use your future... You, you, sorry, your past machine. Yeah. And you discover that the world is totally going to end in 2021 and we're all going to be horribly eaten by aliens looking for our juice. Wouldn't you rather go back to not knowing that? No, I'd say we could then live our lives either uh, addressing that or keeping it in mind. All right, so here's here's th this is this is morphed into a totally different thing, but this is a a question that I would love to ask you. If you were given like a genie's wish, like perfect, and they not gave, a monkey paw, no, a genie's wish, and they gave you a watch you could wear on your hand that shows the time, and the watch is counting down. Yeah. And when the watch hits zero, you you dead, mm -hmm. and it's inescapable. The Death Note number. Yeah, the the yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you would you wear that watch? Um, because you're like, well, the truth, you know. I that. would have to think about it for a while. Cause that that to me is like the ultimate nightmare. Yeah, I would have to think about it. Uh, I probably wouldn't, right? Because at the end of the day, like my personal life is. Like, you have to understand that my entire discussion here, again, we're talking about, like, I'm not talking about on a personal level. I'm really talking about But you can't fight level. things eventually becoming on a personal level. It would personally affect you. It would. It would. But I'm saying that, like, it would help so many more. Whereas if you're talking about just a personal level, where it doesn't benefit anyone except for me, and it only detriments me, then the conversation okay, changes. Okay, how about this? Right? If, if everyone learns something, but it ruins my life personally... Then I can deal with that. Okay. But if it only ruins my life and no one, nothing else happens, then it's a different conversation. What if you go back in time and find out something that dramatically improves your life personally, but ruins everyone else's life? How? In like, what did way? you know that if you like eat... finding out I'm half Hitler? No. Like, <laughs> did you know that if you eat 100 babies at noon in a row, you gain immortality? That would be really good for you. But really unfortunate for at least 100 other people. No, it wouldn't. Well, no, you have to if you find that out. <laughs> Think of all the long-term good you could do if I you like, were immortal. You see, the best part about that <laughs> is the premise immediately, immediately jump, go, like... Immediately, if you learn this, you must do it. <laughs> the premise and the conclusion are one. <laughs> yeah. And at no point was there a question as to what would occur. No. Because the answer is clearly obvious. Well, you gotta live so forever. the premise therefore means that 100 babies will die and that sucks. It's that. unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> it's unfortunate that their brains are so delicious. It's, it's really, that's, that's very telling and, and great. That's great.
That's great. That's a perfect example of, okay, so uh, let's find out why that works. Yeah. Let's find out the mechanics of that. Yeah. Can yeah. that help anybody? The mechanics are, it is a pact with the devil who is real. Oh, the devil is real. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, devil's real. Okay. Ooh, that's a bad one. <laughs> you know what would be the worst one? The devil's real? God, God is, is not. <laughs> it's all devil. Yeah. Ooh. I want to say... I, that's a rough one. God, where was that? I want to say I heard that premise somewhere <laughs> already. Well, I mean, besides the SMT1 yeah. uh, uh, and 2 yeah. like, version of events, but... Satan's real God is not. That's a pretty interesting <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, that sucks. That's Oopsie. A, that's a bad one. Stargate SG-1 kind of toys with that. Hmm. But the devil's an alien. Or it's just God exists and God is the devil. Yeah, okay. The usual way is that the devil is active and God is indifferent. Okay. Right? I mean, that's how, like, yeah, a lot. Because, like, even, like, I remember all these, like... You're fu like people are fighting the actual devil, and they're like, "Why isn't God doing anything?" And they're like, "God is doing something through you." And yeah, you're like, "Fuck off!" But Give then, me a big fire sword. Yeah, but that also that implies that the universal like there's universal galactic concepts of good and evil. Yeah, which there are. You know, sure, but if you I'd, need to know them. I'll tell you what they are. Yeah, but like. Whatever, man. The thing that that created Alpha Centauri doesn't give a fuck whether you're jerking off or not. You don't know that. You don't know that. I don't know that. If an infinite being could be infinitely interested in anything. Hey, here's one. What if the Pope, before he wrote the don't jerk off part in, right... He saw a vision of God, but what, what it was, was like God as like, you know, he's like big. He's like big God. And he's just got the eyeball to the window. And God's jerking off, looking at you jerking off. And and the Pope was like, ew. Okay, everybody just stop. It's fucking, uh. And then And then God came and it was the flood. And he's like, we we can't, if God's watching enough of you guys do it, we could get another flood. But get the boat out and yeah. put the animals on it. Yeah. So that you can survive this That's right. ocean of God come. The ocean's salty. Well... We were wondering how to segue out of this one. So the end of the story uh, and is that um, the weeds are okay. And I enjoyed my small stint in the weed town. That was fun. So, hey, Wooly, what was going on with your week this week? Wooly of Wooly Versus? I don't know. Just thinking about how universal truths are always a positive. Okay. You're like this close to starting your own religion. The, the 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 house of universal truth okay <laughs> okay so define religion <laughs> no i'm not playing the semantics game with you define religion right yeah. if, if what are we talking about here so you know why i know you know why he's asking me define religion because i just said the house of universal truth and a little fucking flag went up in his brain it's like oh that's a decent name for for a uh, for a, you know, for a, a meeting uh, spot Saturdays. If a whole bunch of people all agreed... Oh, my God. ...that the truth... Oh, my God. ...was pretty Stop important... It. ...and that, like, that's a thing that we should, like, you know, actually uh, aspire to... Oh, my fucking God. Well, like, come on... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> now, you see, the problem, the problem is that as soon as you get into the, the point, the, 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 um, as soon as you create the hierarchy, yeah, then, like, the, the big drug yeah. orgies happen. Yeah. Because when you have the hierarchy, something in your lizard brain goes, have a big drug orgy. Yeah. And then. Because the aliens. Because you got to be exactly. Yeah. And you just can't fucking stop yourself. I mean, that's from, not necessarily bad. So it's like whatever your whatever your ideas are, no matter what they may be, yeah. right? If you're like, hey, everybody, 
we should do these ideas and the ideas let's say the ideas are actually good yeah but then you're saying hey everybody while sitting on a big chair yeah i'm i'm the i'm the most truthiest that's the problem i'm the king truther that's the problem well they said right like sitting on the big chair yeah and you know is it's no good don't yeah. do that right also also right and and this is probably the other part of it too like if someone says that's wrong that's not true like you should definitely burn them no <laughs> everyone should go okay hold on upset let's find out why is that real you gotta you gotta you gotta update it you gotta update okay what about when people come in with obviously wrong true i uh, sorry fucked up ideas that can't be disproven okay well we're right here we've got the list that crazy idea has already been addressed please you can check but, it out but what if it's not addressed to the satisfaction well then i there's a point there's also a reasonable there's, cutoff point yeah there's a reasonable cutoff point yes who decides what's reasonable to cut off well is it is it king woolly okay so then <laughs> would you, what's what's what what would be uh more difficult addressing every concern or uh creating the arbitrary cutoff point whichever of the it, two is well, less it, you know depends how how comfortable you are with your arbitrary cutoff points. Because, yeah, arbitrary cutoff points are bad, right? Yeah. You, no one should decide. Therefore, then take all the bad ones. We have infinite data. We've got time. What do we got to... What do we, what do we have? Not time? We have time. I mean, you or I, in fact, don't have time. No, but everyone else does, collectively. Okay. So they'll, they'll handle it. Yeah. So no matter how stupid you are, no matter how much time you want to waste... Then you go, your, your subjects will, will waste it. The, eventually... For you eventually uh whatever uh fucking r9k <laughs> yeah right if at some point that stupid thought you had yeah it's like yeah someone already asked that yeah here you go okay i have another I one i disagree well i disagree because i had a you, you forced a fork in the road right yeah. and the fork in the road was either hypocrisy of an arbitrary cutoff point yeah or accept all stupidity yeah and i'm like well if as, if you can Look at current ability to like database information. Yeah, we can handle infinite stupidity. You're right, Wooly. No one's ever asked you a stupid question that they could have just easily looked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, the well at that point, then it just becomes about like that person. Then you just point at the sign. That point says, at the sign that says, "Hey, read this shit first. Look it up." And then when that sign is old and has lost its original value, and guess what? And the, the guess what? Those people will always be there. Right, but there'll be people that are not those people. You know, would be hey, and those people that are not those Wooly, people. I have a really good idea for your your point of view. Might be put on the right. Uh... I have a really good idea. Do you know how you can get more of your truth out there by those people? It's not my truth. That no, don't... don't call it my truth. It's okay, not my you're truth. You're right. You're right. The universal truth. <laughs> the universal truth for everyone. Just, it just... Anyone who doesn't want to accept that universal truth, they can just go. Go where? Away. No. <laughs> Hang out. Have a good time. But what if they start converting some of your your truthers? Define religion. A, away from what's actually true. And your truthers get sucked in by dumb memes. What do you do with them? I didn't even... I, I was... I was... I was workshopping. I didn't even hear your question. Okay. I'm like, what happens... What happens if something's the truth, but mm -hmm. a dumb meme is so powerful mm -hmm. that it starts anti-truthing people? But it's... Is it funny? No. Then I don't get it. Okay, say you got the universal truth house, right? Everybody in here loves the truth, right? And then a lady comes in and her name is Jenny McCarthy. And she says, vaccines gave my kid the autism. Yeah. And a bunch of your people go, yeah. oh, wow, really? And you go, no, they didn't. Yeah. And then you bring out all the big truths. Yeah. And then they go, we're going to leave this truth house to go to the other truth house. Right. What do you do? No, you can't. You got to burn that other truth house. Can't down. do anything about that. But you can definitely go. Your cult sucks. You, can, you can't do much about it. But, like, um, you can do stuff where you can make sure that, like, if their bad decisions <laughs> lead to other kids being endangered, that yeah. you minimize that. How do you minimize it? Uh group inoculation should be yeah you're gonna really inoculate those people 
No, 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 no. The group inoculation as a, as a concept with fire should be something that we, uh, you know. There is no way you're going to be able to create a universal truth house and not get people burning other truth houses down. Oh, for sure. That's the, the, the problem. But, but you see, it's not, a, it's not a universal truth house. Like, every time you, tr <laughs> like, the moment you, the problem here is that I'm letting you define every one of these steps. All right, then define the what kind of congregation house you want. You said religion to begin with. It's not a congregation. What religion? <laughs> It's not religion. We're all just sitting around on no... Saturday nights talking about the truth, man. You're, you don't have to sit around or talk about anything. Okay. All I'm saying, the, at the end of the day, <laughs> all I'm saying is that, like, if you have to choose between ignorance is bliss and yeah. uncomfortable truth, I think uncomfortable truth is better. Okay. Right? Uh, in some cases, it would... Now, now, when I say that, I say that on a global level. Yeah. Whereas, on a personal level, personal tragedy can lead to things being worse. All right, right? so... Uh, in, there was this crazy podcast. Um, not this one? Not this one. <laughs> about um, these... Uh, these Oh, God. It's this really crazy thing. Like, like um, it, Punch Mom was telling me about it, where basically, like, there's these twins, and one of them, like, had, like no memory of like anything from their childhood because like an accident happened and then they oh, just they, like their brain got bopped yeah yeah and like it just kind of goes along this path of like um and when they eventually did recover and get older like no one like their their family and like sibling and the twin especially would not tell them anything about their past okay and it was just crazy thing of just the person being like, fuck you, I want to know. Yeah. You know, and then you almost end up with an old boy type situation. Okay. Right. Um, and then it was effectively like everyone else decided, no, we're not going to tell you versus this person going like, oh God, that's horrible. Yeah. But the, 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 the constant like eating away at you of not knowing is a like a life of like see that's why that's why what you're supposed to is get everybody together and come up with one very convincing big lie that you can tell once and then that person stops acting asking that doesn't work and then if they keep asking the moment you, you burn them the moment the scrutiny of any kind then that big lie what's up with me today i, I don't know everyone. you're clearly trying to push your religious concept listen i'm just saying that fire solves a lot of problems if and you, people are more delicious when cooked if you choose ignorance you should be allowed to choose ignorance okay but it shouldn't force other people to not know what's going on is there anything more immediately hair raising than the phrase listen i'm just saying yeah i know <laughs> it is like, it is i'm just saying yeah that, that's, i'm just talking here yeah that's that's the um that's the terminology i used for grand wizard waka yeah you know although uh if you want to be accurate it should be uh technically imperial wizard imperial waka. wizard waka or Grand Dragon. I think the funniest thing Take that I pick. ever found out about the KKK was the wizard dragon shit. Yeah. Like, that, I dodged that for decades. Cyclops. And I remember seeing, like, an interview it, on, uh, like, Mori or some shit. Yeah. Right? And it's like, it's the, 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 the Imperial Wizard dra Dragon Master. And Exalted like, Nighthawk. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this stupid shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Exalted Nighthawk, uh, uh, uh. Like, whatever, like, Sanctified Cyclops or whatever that shit is. Grand Dragon, Imperial Wizard. It's yeah. wild. It's fucking... It's out there. Um, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they're D&D they're, they're &D nerds. Turns out. Turns out. Turns out the KKK is a bunch of D&D &D nerds. That aren't happy with the Kender. Oh, man. Did you see everybody I get so that. mad? Like, we've said some stupid shit on this podcast. I never thought Wooly going, oh, yeah, cool, Tassel, how he was cool. I like Kender would be the most controversial statement out of the so last podcast. So it turns out that, that you want to talk about memes. Turns out there was a meme yeah. established that people that play Kenders are the worst, most obnoxious, annoying people ever. Yeah. And that it turns out that the entire race was, like, simply trying to turn Tasselhoff into... A thing that other people can do to just expand it. Okay. And that that was a bad idea. That might have been a bad because idea. Because it ruins people's campaigns and games with people that would just not care about... People that would be like, you stole something out of my pack, I'll kill you. Right. So, 
it's super interesting because I'm like, oh, I just like Tasselhoff Borefoot. Yeah. I thought it was fun. Yeah. I thought and that's the end of the thought. Guy. And then the role that Kendrick played in the context of those books was a fun one. But in the end, like, you know, there's even those little moments where it's like, oh, the unexpected little hero, right? And the other thing, of course, was that these were supposed to be like uh, a fixing of halflings. Yeah. Of some kind. These halflings suck ass. But it's like, I don't. I don't know about half. I just thought the fucking Tasselhoff was I'm just was short, fine. man. I thought the book was fun. I thought him hanging out with Flint and Flint being an old dwarf. And like, oh, rah, 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 rah. It was funny. Right. That's it. That's the end of the yeah, thought. That was the end of I'm the sorry thought. if anybody picked a Kender and uh, ruined your campaign, bro. Though, in hindsight, I can totally see how you, if you wanted to like fuck with people, picking a Kender would be easy street. If you wanted to fuck with people. Yeah. If me. Yeah. Yeah. But it also, if you, like, that's the royal you. Like the, hey, if anybody. Oh, certainly. But, like, I like to use the royal you a lot. And a lot of people think I'm talking about you, you. But I'm talking about you. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, if someone was, like, you know, hell-bent on ruining a campaign by not cooperating with people or having a fun yeah, time. They could just shit themselves constantly. You know. I'm going to roleplay Johnny Sasaki in, uh, in this D&D session. I want the DM to roll a uh, 1 to 20 every time I see a cute girl. And if it rolls any higher than a 4, I shit myself. I can't believe he ended up with Meryl. I can't believe it. Also, why did he stop shitting himself suddenly? When he pulled the mask off. And became handsome. So just for the record, do you happen to believe that... Uh, as a as an entire human race, ignorance is bliss, is sometimes the better way to go. I think that's for me to decide. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you. No, on an individual basis, I'll make those decisions for everyone. Because here's what it is. Here's the folder yeah. from the CIA, FBI, Pentagon. Yeah. DARPA. I would feel really comfortable being the guy at that office being like, yeah, nobody needs to know this one. Okay, so here's the folder, right? Yeah. Um, it's burn this. It's, do you put out the thing where half of it is redacted? No. Or is it out there and people can choose whether or not they want to open it? No, no, I'll make that decision. Pe people are too dumb to make that decision for themselves. Me... The man behind the curtain, I know better. Cool. Okay. So, therefore, you like the status quo of us. No, no, being I'm not the person the actually making the decision. No, but there's right someone now. like you yeah, that currently but it's not me. is in but that it's position. Not me. That is. See, I want to know everything. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not you. Yeah, it's not. So, right now, someone is being you. Yeah, but it's not me. That's stopping. Yeah, I want to know. Okay, but. But you're su you're supporting the system we have if it's right me. now. If it's me right now. Of us not knowing. Yeah, but only if it's me, though. Because then I get to know. So, like... I don't care if Jimmy Idiot knows. I want to know. Right, so you would, you would keep things the way they're going. Depends. But I could change things. I could be like, no, that one's good. And uh, the other old guy would be like, no, that one's bad. I'm like, nah, it's fine. Cool. So uh, Tuskegee syphilis experiments don't need to hide that from the people? Nah, people should have known about that one. Uh, they, yeah, should they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's a good one to know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Don't hide it. No, don't hide that one. Okay. In fact, hide that one. Unhide that way earlier, mm -hmm. I would say. Okay. But, uh, aliens mind controlling us to watch TV? Nah. Nah, we're gonna put that one away. Hmm. So the H.P. Lovecraft protagonist, um, it goes insane from the revelation? They see something that they can't handle. Mm -hmm. And they go nuts. 100% mm -hmm. of the time. Got it. Um, I would be that guy who kind of knows about it in the, in the, like, with the hunch like a hunchback mm -hmm. and be like don't look at that shit be like and you'd See, be like i want to look at it i'm like you really shouldn't look at that yeah and i survived the story well the, so the concept of like an unknowable horror and old gods and all yeah. dead languages and 
you know, colors of madness and things yeah, like all that. that shit. Like all of that is super cool. And if there was a layer beneath this one where that shit did exist in some way, shape, or form, yeah, I suppose. Like, would you want to be bloodborning at twenty four seven if that's what the world was really like? Yeah, you see that, like, like that, like the the basis of where I stand is one where those things are just cool fiction, but couldn't possibly fathomably be real. Couldn't, possibly. couldn't possibly fathomably, couldn't possibly. be possibly. real. Right? Yeah, until you see it. If the, the truths I'm talking about yeah. are the deviations that we talked about at the beginning. Oh, you're not talking about cosmic truth? No, I'm, talk, I'm talking about, like, like, yeah, a bunch of old dudes took some mushrooms and thought they saw God. Hey, That's Wooly? what I mean. Wooly? You know what? Mulder? She's gone. Stop looking. <laughs> She's just gone. I'm She's just gone, Mulder. Don't worry about it. So I'm talking about, I guess, like, it's almost one of those things where you're like, there's there's the truths that we have built on a... Uh... By the way, I'm having fun talking about this, so this is the podcast right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I would agree with that. Good. So I'm talking about the truths <laughs> of, um, like, okay, we are, we are ape, right? Yeah. And then human. Then And then the fur fell off, basically. And, yeah. And yeah. then language and society all that shit right and then culture yeah and so on and then at some point we start having recorded history of things yeah and then like the recorded history of things there's a lot of stuff about that recorded history that is like how, how why did that happen how is that's this? crazy and, huh and then a, a lot of that shapes our day-to-day -day, like experiences and how we act and what we do right oh wow Somebody just sent me a link. On Earth 616 in the Marvel Universe, there is a cult named the Universal Church of Truth. That's hilarious. So, um, <laughs> yeah, fuck all those implications of any religious kind, to be perfectly honest. Like, it was, fuck it was, all of it was that. Central object of worship was Magus, the Adam Warlock evil version. Yeah, some asshole sitting on a chair, certainly. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll, you'll, we'll get you a really nice chair to sit you'll on. Yeah, really, really nice chair. Yeah. Um, Once you sit in it, it feels good. Totally. So, so, so. You have to bring, yeah, bring back Wooly versus God. Uh, so the 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 yeah, but it's you in both images. <laughs> in both images. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have all these things about like you know once we have recorded history that we currently. Uh, yeah. get right and some things we get wrong most of the things we get wrong probably yeah. and that led to the modern day cities and cultures and things yeah the have, whole right? the whole shebang so there's a whole on that surface level like above the dirt yeah right there's a whole lot that we get wrong that like people suffer over like it's not good for you right right i don't know so okay kermit i don't know why i do that after i yawn every single time if i yawn i become kermit so, uh, all of that is more or less what I was addressing yeah. in talking about, like, truths. Yeah. And the moment we go, okay, but beneath the dirt in the ground, yeah, beneath the there dirt. is, like, the organic machines that built us as human beings. Yeah. And then plugged our brains into the glass jar so that we could perceive that which is. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay. <laughs> like you learn that you're in the matrix yeah like that's not what i mean you yeah, know but you don't get to make that decision you don't get to make that decision right and i suppose that that's a different thing so but is there somebody that says like do you want to know or right yeah. because it's like at some <laughs> i'm talking about just peeking through a, at a floating camera at events that happened yeah and then you see morpheus there sure you know but that's that's what i'm saying right i'm all about straightening up the the no known history and tidying up our shit yeah. so that we can just be what we are now, but a bit better than that. That'd be really cool. A bit better? A bit better. Okay. It'd be really cool if we could tidy up our bullshit so that all these little hangups we have, like one guy saying, no, don't do the weed. So I think, I think the end of the, that story is that long-term cultural change is not, a is not a result of reality. It, was, it is a result of... One that, guy. Uh, no, of that culture changing itself slowly over time. It usually is one guy. Very often, one guy sits in a big chair 
And that guy in the big chair tells everybody how it is. Okay. And then everybody follows. And then eventually, how that guy, one guy said it was, is now how it did. So you want to be that guy? You don't, you see, you know how you think it's one way, but it's the other way? I do think it is one way, and it is the other <laughs> way. Well, one guy that said it's oh, so one funny. guy said it's the other way, yeah. and you're like, but no, it's clearly this way, and then everyone goes, no, uh, so Willie, it's the other way. But like you just described yourself having to get into the big chair to no. tell everyone, no, but not me. Someone else will sit in the big chair for you. No big chair. But you just said the society only changes when someone gets into a big chair. No, I'm I'm saying that the problems we've had have come from a lot of big chairs. And what I'm saying is that any long-term real change in any global culture yeah. is the result of millions and billions of small actions that, you know, filter down all that shit. And then when I said that, you went, no, someone has to be in a big chair. No, that's not what it. I said. All I'm saying in general is I'm following through on the wouldn't it be cool if a magical ability allowed everyone to understand something without a big chair and that's your ability to do doesn't have to be mine okay if science invented a way to i open don't know up man if there was a guy out there that said listen i can wave my hand in front of you and you'll see the truth and he does that and people instantly change their minds no matter how smart that guy is i would be like we need to kill him we need to blow him up God damn it, I think a fucking package just didn't... Sorry. <sighs> Do I chase? No, no, they're gone. It's gone. They're gone. Man, we were just talking, like, at length about how unreliable package delivery to Wooly's house is. <laughs> and how bad every delivery man is at ringing the doorbell. It's fucking hilarious. I, I... It's, it's absurd. Like, you have a doorbell. The inner fucking, like, dog wants to just chase the UPS truck oh, down the street yeah. right now. I, I, I feel that inside, in here. Fuck. Unfortunately, you're kind of busy right now. Yes. Yes, unfortunately. Um, listen. Whether or not I... Because, you know, okay, here's the real fucking crazy power. Okay. Some guy has the ability to show you a window to perfect information in the past, but he chooses what that window displays. Of course. <laughs> so that magic... That is, could mean anything. It could be, yeah, it could be just complete fabricated nonsense, but he convinces you that it's always the truth. That would be fucking wild. Yeah. That would be an amazing that hustle. That would be you. That would be an amazing hustle. No, it's the truth, bro. Listen, Let me if, tell you. if that ability, if that power can come about as a result of us just cracking it open with the science yeah. though, then like it doesn't well you're gonna trust those scientists to show you the truth i like how you keep trying to inject my ego into this as a as the flaw but what we, we're I'm, the only two people here i know because the answer is i wouldn't the what i'm saying is they're always lying and getting me pissed yeah man. And, and i'm and i'm saying that i don't care if it's me it doesn't have to be me it, it just needs it would be really cool if it happened so that everybody gets that level up but what if it's all fake, man? Everybody eats a rare candy. Everybody. Everyone gets a rare candy. Yeah. Some people can't handle the rare candy. Some people don't like leveling up. And they turn into mutants. And you know what? What? If they don't want to level up while other people are... Then we could just leave they're them. They're okay! No, it's no, not! We, we No, well, we, we don't just burn leave them. them in the dirt it's in the non-leveled up society. It's not kick them out. It's not isolate them. It's They'll just not fall behind. Them. Every time I'm talking about the other, I'm saying let them be the other. That's fine. But they don't know the truth, man. You don't gotta go take your rocks up and beat down the fucking... No, I don't. You don't. But other people do. Those Neanderthals, right? Gotta... gotta... Wooly! You think if you gave the ability to people to see a universal truth that a huge amount of them wouldn't turn into the most sanctimonious, burn-happy assholes that the world has ever seen? Bunch of people would get really bad. Bunch <laughs> like, of people would get really bad. They'd get really and it bad. was like definitive the truth, right? It was like no, no vision, no nothing. It was like, oh, this is rock solid. Well, people will get burn-happy. Well, here's my backfire, right? Here's, here's the backdraft on this one. Right? Um, 
There is no God, there's no reason to be nice to people, nothing matters. All the people who think that God's a reason to be nice people suddenly go, oh. Every concept of ethics and morality is just contrived. The only thing that matters is eat, survive, fuck. Have some drugs, I guess. And and have, uh, and, and pass on your, your... Play video games. Pass on your, <laughs> your, your, uh, your seat to the next generation. Yeah. And then, that's it. Yeah. Right? One of those things were just like, oh, it really is just nothing. Yeah. Right? Which... Probably the is. best way to make sure your dream gene survives is to turn is to burn everyone else's family tree down and turn your family tree into a family Ouroboros. So, if everyone had the realization that I yeah. just described, which let's be real, there's, a, there's evidence pointing towards that possibly being the yeah. truth, <laughs> might really just be all nothing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people are like, "Well, the only thing that was stopping me from doing the purge was, was the, the thought Lord. that the Lord would." punish me for it but now i have no reason not to go do the purging right that's a that's a bad I don't know. I that sucks but it also i guess i mean it certainly says something about you right yeah. and i think that like if you could know that and still find reason to like yeah. do good things and still be good that almost makes it even more noble that you're doing it totally even though the concept of nobility itself is worthless. i mean the pope actually gave like a high five to atheists a little while ago and i was like that's actually pretty cool you pope did you see that pope was like hey don't don't hate on atheists if an atheist is trying to live a good life and they don't know shit about god then that says a lot about their personal character that they're doing their best even though they don't know shit. Being a being a good person even without the big reward in the yeah. sky afterwards. Yeah. That's probably more legit. Yeah. Than the fuckers that aren't so doing that. So what you do is when the universal truth gets shown and you get that bunch of people going, "Well, why 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 do why I got to be nice? I don't need to be nice no more." You go, "Don't worry, man." I have a really good reason for you to be nice. There's this good seminar that we're having over in this place. Just everybody group up real close. And then you burn them. Yeah. Um, it's all entirely possible that, let's say, one of the people that happens to feel that, like, ah, eh, fuck it all. Yeah. Right? In the, at that revelation. Revelaton. Yeah. Uh, is also someone who's... Uh, walking around with one of those missing nukes. Yeah. Right? Or someone that's got the football. Yeah. The important thing is that you have enough empathy with your fellow man to know that these people gotta go. But and you see you... how this is like a horrific train of thought? That person has a tiny missing nuke right now. Do you they know think, better. Do you think that like despite like if hmm. it's a gamble it's a gamble because it's like the society you build afterwards yeah uh -huh. the society you build afterwards is one that is like super based on like that which you can trust which is like everything you know uh -huh. and anything that's fake or not real or a lie uh -huh. is discarded immediately that's because right. like it has no value in your survival at that point right I, yeah so it becomes a really interesting proposition to uh maintain the illusion in that circumstance yeah right um plus we already have the capability of like like wiping each other out and oh easy you know what i mean like a second so we, yeah we can go post-apocalyptic yeah um so that's bad as well Listen, I'm just saying that if, Wooly, if you're like, hey, I found a portal that tells you the truth, I'm going to be like, everyone, we have to get Wooly. We have to get him. Hmm. Because we can't. Yeah. Soci you I'll will argue, destroy all of society. I'll argue against myself right now. I'll okay. argue against myself right now. Okay. Like, if, if people that can't handle it have the ability to kill everybody, yeah. then maybe that's bad. I'm going to tell you right now, people who can't handle it totally have the ability to kill everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, a, that's a really good <laughs> counter argument for the truth. Yeah. Um, I'm saving the earth by keeping the truth away from it by eliminating you says the supervillain basically I say listen <laughs> listen tell me it, that is it, not the what the bad guy says listen, right I you know what else the bad guy says the bad that? guy also says no we just need to have this event start happen and a lot we'll lose a lot of people but it'll but, work out in the end but in the end yeah, the, the end, new world yeah, the, the new, new world, world 
the won't better have, world won't have all the problems we currently yeah. have. Both of these ideologies. Yeah, that's the same mentality of like, you know, what if we just threw a peanut down every school aisle? Then that would that problem would just go away. <laughs> In yeah. the new world, yeah. peanuts will be free and beautiful once again. Yeah, the difference there is, like, how badly do you want to eat your peanuts, bro? I could go for a peanut right now. I don't really... I'm, they're fine. I can give or take. I could go for one baby nut. 